This is a video series all about KV Curl landing pages. And it's a three part video series where I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your landing pages. Then we're going to move on to talking about some marketing ideas and campaign ideas that are targeted to a specific market. And then the third video is all about promoting your landing pages to generate leads. Let's get started. My name is Tamila Rajasingham. I'm a real estate marketer, real estate agent, global team leader with eXp Realty Brokerage. Thank you so much for joining me. If this is your first time visiting our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button and hit the notification bell to get updates on more content and make sure you watch to the end because I'm going to give you some information as to how you can get free access to my marketing course. So now let's get started. I'm going to show you in this video exactly step by step how to set up your landing page. So what you have here, I'm going to actually make my camera a little bit smaller so that you can actually see more of what I am going to be showing you. Once you log on to KV Core on the back end, you're going to head to the left hand menu and click on lead engine and you can click build a landing page here or you can come to this page and you're going to be uh, clicking onto landing pages to build. So first and foremost, what I want to mention is all of your past landing pages links are saved here. And what you're going to do is come here, click your domain and you're going to start building and it's going to open up a template. And this template is, there's various different ways you can leverage this template. I'm gonna move my camera to this side so that you can see more of what I'm gonna be showing you. And then I'll show you an example of a landing page that I've created. So right at the top here, it shows you the type of landing page that are available for you and what kind of a content you're going to be putting in. I recommend that you look at all of the templates that are available before starting to build one. So the lead generation one is the one we're at right now. There's video options. There's text code campaigns you can run, Facebook chat. There's various different types. So make sure you have a look at them and they all work and they all work depending on what kind of content you have available that you're going to be showing. Second at the top is hashtag. It says optional, but my biggest recommendation is that I always recommend that you use a hashtag. There's going to be a separate different, uh, you know, video that I did on hashtag and categorization. I highly recommend that you watch that, but to lightly touch on hashtags, hashtags are literally, you know, certain naming conventions that I recommend that you use, but these are words that you want to use in order to keep your database organized. This gives you an idea as to where your leads are coming from, who they are, so that when you're ready to nurture them and send some smart campaigns or do follow up, you know exactly the type of message to send to them to target them properly. So for example, in this case, we can do buyer's guide since we're going to be doing a buyer's guide, for example. And the submit button text is whatever you write here is going to change this orange button. So let's say, you know, it's for a buyer and it's a buyer's guide and you're going to tell them to click download after they give you information. The URL after login is Again, it's optional because it could be something where you give information here and it doesn't have to take them anywhere. But in this case, I want to always leave with value. And when I ever take any information from any of my leads, I want to ensure that I gave them something for them to, to take away. So in this case, if I were to give them a buyer's guide, I'm going to put a link to take them directly to my buyer's guide. So that's what that link would go to. So right after they press download, where is the li the link, the URL that you want them to go to? So that's what that, that, that uh, text box is. The next is, it's asking you if you want to require a phone number. As you can see here, it asks for email and cell phone is optional. As a marketer, I highly recommend that you ask if somebody isn't willing to give you their phone number, which we all need a phone number in order to connect with our leads when we're working with them as real estate agent. If they're not serious now, they're probably not going to be serious later. We'll never know, right? So I personally like to know if when somebody's coming onto my landing page, I want them to know they're serious and then if they're actually looking to purchase a property in the near future or pretend to sell, right? So I always require a phone number. Again, I'll leave it up to you to make that decision that's right for your business. And this is a really important aspect, which I wanted to talk to you about, which is the background image that you're going to be using for your landing page. There are various ones that are available to you that you can use that are here, or you can add your own at the bottom using a custom background using an, an image, or you can use an MLS image of a property that's currently on the market. It's really up to you. A couple of things that I want you to keep in mind. Think really carefully about the image that you're choosing because these colors, the text, you can't change. So if you were to use an image that is super high contrast on the background, it's not going to allow people to read it. Remember, the main purpose of this landing page is for the, the flow of your lead is to read this and for them to come here, enter their email, phone number, 
and download. You don't want any other distraction. Remember, you want their contact information. You want them to read the content that you've written there to, to allow them to capture them. So remember, anytime you add an image, it's really is about branding rather than, and it's really about putting together a landing page that makes sense for your brand rather than something that is distracting. So be really mindful of what you choose. And I'll give you an example you know, stay away from something that is super busy. Also stay away from, you know, when there is, you know, people in the background, you know, if, if you know, if there's people's faces that are showing that are, you know, in this case, she's not too bad because she's a little bit to the to the right, where if their their faces are right where the texts are, it, it could be a bit distracting. And another tidbit is that make sure you stay away from any background images with text on it because immediately my eye goes to wanting to read the text that's behind that's on the image rather than the text that you want them to read which is here so this is again there's a contradiction between the copy that's in the landing page versus the image copy so keep that in mind which is why when i show you my sample landing page i make sure that it's dark it's it has even if it has a pattern but it's it's solid enough for me to to use copy that is able to stand out. And also keep in mind your I'm I'm positive that your brokerage logo and if you're part of EXP, it cannot be on top of, you know, image with background and it needs to be on a solid background. So you make sure you're following your your company logo guidelines. And and then once you figure use the once you chose an image that works for you, and then you can come here and identify the type of lead they are. It's very important that you do this because on the back end of KV Core, you have drip campaigns that are enabled and you also for follow-up reasons, you want to know who these people are and how they got there and you want to send them the right information that is fitting. So let's say if you want to eventually send them a YouTube video as a follow-up, as a nurturing strategy, and the YouTube videos are on how to list your home, strategies to list your home, you're probably not going to send that to buyers, right? So keep that in mind. And then a couple of things that I want you to keep in mind is that when you go to press save, it's going to have this little pop-up that's coming to say, warning, you will not be able to save or edit this page after so what that means is that if there's any changes you want to make after you press save, you won't be able to do it. And that's why that link is saved. And I like to save the link elsewhere as well, just in the event that it disappears in KB Core. I know it won't because in the past it wasn't used to be there. So I highly recommend that you bookmark this, save this link, and know that you can make any changes. So make sure you read this thoroughly. Make sure you check for spelling. And one tidbit I'll give you is that before I start building a landing page, I think about what the landing page is for. You know, who is it targeting? The, you know, it does it serve my business goal? And where am I going to promote this? And what are the copy that's going to be here? Do I need all four points? Can I remove? If you don't need one, you just double click and it disappears. But also keep that in mind that I'm not, I'm very much like this. I like to like double click everything. So when I, you know, started to use this, it took me, a, you know, to get used to it. So because if you double click, it disappears. And then if it disappears and you actually want those two back for any reason, you just refresh it and you have to start all over again. So keep that in mind. So I highly recommend that in another Word document or a Google Doc, you create your 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 copy, you gather exactly the content that you want on your landing page, and then you come back onto your landing page, you copy and paste what you need. Do keep in mind that if you want the blue part removed and you only want the white, let's say it, dis, it, it takes away both. So unless you want to highlight it and then you can remove it and then it disappears but do keep in mind it was designed a certain way for both of them to exist coexist because of how the check mark is centrally aligned with the content just to keep that in mind i know it's not a big deal but i'm a big design nerd and i'm a, a marketing professional so these are big big things that i keep an eye out for but something that i just wanted to let you know is that you know keep in mind how you want the page to be laid out and how what information you want to give and you know one of the things that i didn't mention earlier is that a lot of people have confusion as to what a landing page is compared to what a squeeze page is and make sure you know the difference uh, you know they both are very similar in in what they what they do right they're both a lead generation tool however a landing page and and a squeeze page what makes them difference is the way that they're made up and a landing page has usually one conversion goal it has a little bit of more information on it it can be campaign driven and and it's and it's giving people something as well right it's taking them somewhere where a squeeze page it takes them directly to your products or services. In our case, we're in the process, we're in the services of selling real estate, so it takes them directly to MLS listings. So, and it's, uh, and it's the, 
you know, it's like your saved search that is is kind of narrowed into a small search. So that's squeeze pages. And make sure you look out for those videos so that you can learn how to set up your own squeeze page. But in this case, for a landing page, you know, you want to think about a campaign, you want to think about your audience, and then you want to lead with giving them some sort of a value or some sort of a journey. And you want to think about where you want them to, how you want them to land here and how you want them to be carried across. And that's why it is so important that, you know, me showing you how to set up a landing page is one thing, but what do you put in it? What is the strategy? What are the campaign ideas that you can do? How to write the copy? And then lastly, it's great if you build an amazing landing page, but then how do you get eyeballs on them? How do you actually promote it? Where do you promote it? How do you actually leverage this landing page to generate leads? And that's what I'm going to show you in the next two videos. Again, like I mentioned, this is a three-part video series where I'm going to show you exactly how to leverage the landing page tool that is that is within KV Core. So thank you so much for joining me. Now that you've reached the end of the video, I want to give you some more information as to how you can get access to my KV Core marketing course right at the end, right at the description, I'm going to put a link in there where you can go check out ways that you can get access to this course for free. And if you partner with us, and if you want to take your business to the next level, and if you want to grow and scale your business, make sure you get in touch with me as well. I'm going to put my information at the bottom so you can get more information about what it's like to join our group. And what are all the amazing resources we have our resources are nothing like any other group at our company at eXp Realty. And quite frankly, nothing like that exists in any other real estate space from all the agents who've come into our group have told us and is changing the lives of many agents. And I want to be able to give that information to you. And I want to give you that opportunity to partner with us. Thank you so much again for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give that thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. I'd love to respond to you. And if you want to see more content like this and you want me to cover other aspects of KB Core, leave it in the comments comment section below and I love to create a video for you and thank you so much again for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get more content like this once again my name is Tharmila Rajasingham I'm a real estate marketer I'm a real estate agent a global team leader with eXp Realty Brokerage and it is such a great pleasure having you here I'll see you next time